Hello and welcome back to another episode of Achievement Master, a show in which I will tell you all about some of the achievements in certain games and how to get them, so that you too can be an Achievement Master. Today I'm going to show you an easy and fast way to make gold in Tales of Berseria, as it is required for the achievement a veritable gold mine to have gained 20 million gold over the course of your playthrough. To do this the easiest way we also need access to the boss quarter island, for which you need to have beaten the final boss on your save file, then talk to a sailor in Port Saxon. Note that it is not required to clear any of the other demon quarters for this one to appear. If you do, however, also unlock and defeat all the other demon quarters, you will be awarded with another achievement, Emergency Management. The other islands can also be unlocked by talking to sailors in various ports among Titania and one in Mercio. Once you go to the boss quarter you can also use a drop bottle at the beginning of the fight to double the amount of gold you gain. Quickly. Huh? Eat it. You're wide open. I did this first run of the boss quarter on Chaos difficulty which however may not be the fastest way to make gold. The bosses will drop more gold on higher difficulties, however the fights also take longer and it becomes more difficult as some enemies are immune to certain elements and other things. Defeating the boss quarter on Chaos will net you a little more than half a million gold while using drop bottles. The fight also took me 2 minutes and 44 seconds, but note that my characters are very well equipped and high leveled. You can however also do the same thing on simple difficulty, which will make the fight much easier and shorter. In this case it still took 1 minute and 14 seconds, but awarded me with 320,000 gold using drop bottles. If you do some math you'll find out that doing the fight on simple will yield you much more gold per hour and in addition as the difficulty also determines the likelihood of skills in your equipment there's a good chance that the equipment you got from the fight can be disassembled into odorless fluid which is a rare crafting material. The only problem we have now is that we need a bunch of drop bottles, however drop bottles are not sold in shops. In fact, the only way of getting additional drop bottles is through chests in the post game dungeon the heavenly steps. Upon entering any floor but the first one, a random floor is generated and one of those random floors consists simply of a floor with 9 chests. These chests contain fairly rare items like elixirs and gear but of course also drop bottles. Simply enter any floor. Look whether it's a chest room, if not leave with your Denor bottle and repeat. The benefit of this method is that you'll also get some other rare items like some rarity 19 or 20 equipment for some characters as well as some elixirs. While this does take a good amount of time, this is still the fastest method of making huge amounts of gold and in addition to that you'll also end up with a lot of useful crafting material. You can track your total amount of gold earned in your player record screen. Once you reach 20 million gold, you will be awarded with the achievement a veritable gold mine. As always, if you have any further questions with these achievements, go ahead and ask them in the comments below. I'll be sure to answer them to the best of my ability. I hope this video helped you on your way to become an achievement master and if it did, feel free to leave a like and or subscribe for more guides and other contents in the future. As always, take care and I'll see you in the next one.